Because we're supposed to assume any of these lines that appear tangent are a tangent, that means that we can create quite a few right angles, okay, off of these points that um, are where the tangent lines intersect the circle, okay. So that means that I could make quite a few uh, right triangles here. Now the one that would make the most sense would be to make these two right triangles here. The reason I chose these two is because I know this length here, which means I would know the length of this side of that triangle. Okay, so this is a right angle here. Now, because I know this, and I know this, I know that this has to be 10, because this is just equal to the whole piece, 19.8, minus the small piece, 9.8. So, what I'll need to do is find this side here, the reason I need to find this is because if I find this side here, then I can use it to find this length here, which we'll call y. And once I know all of these lengths here, then I can add them all up and get the perimeter, because the perimeter will be this 19.8 plus that 16.3 plus whatever that y is when we find out what y is. Okay, so let's start by finding this x. x squared plus 10 squared should equal 16.3 squared. So x squared plus 100 equals 16.3 squared is 265.69. Okay. So, that means x squared equals 165.69. So that means x is equal to the square root of 165.69. Well, here's a trick. Don't round this. Not yet. Leave it as the square root of 165.69, because when I put it into the formula to find y here, I'm just going to end up squaring it, which is going to keep me from having any rounding errors, okay? Because I know, <coughs> excuse me, that x squared plus 9.8 squared should equal y squared. Okay, well, we found x to be the square root of 165.69. So this is 165.69 plus 9.8 equals y squared. Okay, so plus 165.69, 261.73. So the square root of 261.73 is equal to y squared. I'm sorry, is equal to y. So I'm going to leave it as the square root of 261.73, so I will also not have any rounding errors. I'm just going to go ahead and say that the perimeter is equal to 19.8 plus 16.3 plus the square root of 261.73. That will keep me from having any intermediate rounding errors. It's best to try to round only at the end to save yourself from having any um, problems with your final answer. Plus my calculator will totally let me just put all of this in here, so it won't be a big deal to leave it like that. So 19.8 plus 16.3 plus the square root of 261.73. 52.3. So the perimeter is approximately equal to 52.3.